Yo guys, how's it going? It is JT Judgment here, back again with a brand new, guys, brand new WWE Superguard video. Finally, guys, I just decided, you know, first of all, I just want to apologise for completely disappearing off the face of the earth in terms of the YouTube channel over the past couple of weeks. I decided to take a little bit of a break uh, from making the YouTube videos and a little bit of a break turned into a little bit longer and a little bit longer of a break turned into a very long break and before I know it guys I've been so busy that time has passed to the point that season 6 is now here and it's just time has flown by completely for me guys so I don't really know how long it's been since I last my uh, you know since I last made a video I apologize yet again for completely disappearing all right guys so the first video I'm bringing you uh, you know from my perspective of season six probably not going to be the longest of videos here for you guys today we're just going to take you know a quick look at what has changed within the game what looks a little bit different what's been added what's probably been taken away um, and then we're going to jump into some gameplay as well because we're going to be claiming my nightmare freebie in this video Video as well because I did have a lot of things planned for the very first video that I do make for season six however there is a few things that have come into play that has caused me to press the pause button on those things wait a little bit of time and you know use them at the right time I'll get into more information as we go in so looking at first you know first glance things look a little bit different but at its core, it's pretty much exactly the same as Season 5. You know, you've got the exact same information up the top. The events and what have you scroll from left to right um, in the middle. And then you've got the, you know, the sub-events, should we call them. The Fusion Chamber, Wild Mode, Money in the Bank and all that sort of stuff at the bottom of the screen. Where you can also scroll from left to right. We go over to the store. Uh, we've got some of the daily deals going on right now to complement the gobbledygooker fusion that is currently going on in the fusion chamber. I have done nothing in terms of that because I've literally done nothing with the game gameplay wise um, because I've been waiting to be able to make this video to claim my nightmare freebie as part of a video for you guys. So that's slightly caused me to you know stay away from the game and I apologize for that guys gobbledygooker is not a fusion. It is a quest. So literally all you have to do is collect enhancements in terms of these Thanksgiving um, enhancement cards. And you can get yourself some Nightmare Gobbledygooker, uh, Gobbledygooker cards. And if you do all of them, you get yourself this Gobbledygooker card back. Which honestly, I think will be much easier than people make it out to be. Because if you know, you could make it very easy and just buy yourself the, the, the packs in the store. But... You know, these enhancements I don't think are going to be that easy or that hard to pull off the board. Cornbread is monster, I believe. And seeing as monster and beast is now the lowest tier you can pull off the board, you know, you're going to be pulling monsters and beast cards off the board all the time. So those are going to drop very, very easily. Uh, big potato, I don't think... I think it's a titan. Uh, big, I, I don't think titans reset the board anymore. If they do, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below. Um, but titan, or turkey I should say, is goliath. Um, and candid yams, or candied yams, is Wrathmania 34. And those two tiers, as far as I know, now do reset the board. So those are going to be a little bit harder to obtain. But seeing as Season 6, guys, has been live for quite some time now since after me actually recording this video and you, by the time it's uploaded to the channel, you guys will have had loads of time to jump into the game, collect your freebies, open packs, you know, collect many of those enhancements towards the gobbledygooker. Let me know your thoughts on Season 6 so far. Do you like what they have done with the brand new season what did, would you have liked to have seen that they didn't implement and what have they implemented that you don't like let me know in the comment section down below guys let's get a bit of a discussion started so this weekend's event is a road to glory exactly the same as far as i can remember they did back at the start of season five they just ran a you know a completely normal road to glory there is no special cards in this uh, whatsoever uh, the brand new cards, you've got Luke Gallows as the Nightmare, Dolph Ziggler as the Primal, and then Eric as the brand new Vanguard. And I'm loving the the card designs, you know. I will say Vanguard has got to be my favourite, Primal is then my second favourite, and then Nightmare is probably my least favourite. However, saying that, I actually do like all of the designs 
but if I had to, you know, label them from my favourite to my least favourite, that's probably the order I will go in, you know? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'm hoping there is not a heroic in this Road to Glory. I mean, they could do it. They could just, you know, unlock a heroic side that just gives another Vanguard card rather than a usual heroic upgrade. They could do that. However, seeing that this is the very first event of the season and you know many people have not that had had that much time to get into the top tier so getting these brand new cards is going to take a lot of time hopefully you know there isn't a heroic if there is i'll be very surprised a little bit disappointed because if there is i'm going to want to play for it so I guess time is going to tell, you know? Moving into the different stores within the game now, guys. And remember what I said at the start of the video? I had many things planned for my very first video. And what I meant by that, guys, was opening many, many packs. But this is what's keeping me from opening them, guys. In terms of Team Battleground, as you can see, or you may guys not be able to see on the video, I do have 99,945 battle points saved up. So pretty much 100,000. There is, there's, there's nothing in the store that warrants me spending my points yet again, just like the past three or four months of this game. They haven't added anything. I mean, they've changed the grab bag to Neon to Primal, which is nice that they've given the opportunity to get some new tier cards or new season cards. However, I don't want to spend my points on those. I would much rather wait for them to add either Nightmare or... Or primal if they had added nightmare straight away then i probably would have spent my points but i don't want to spend my points on a grab bag and more than likely just get nothing but cards less than cataclysm it just seems like a complete and utter waste for me you know so i'm going to save those points until at least nightmare cards get released uh in terms of the tickets as well i don't know if you guys will be able to see it but i do have 725 tickets saved up However, seeing as I am only in Nightmare tier currently, I don't have the opportunity to get Primals or Vanguard, so I'm probably going to keep these until I get to at least Primal. I might open some when I hit Primal. However, you know, my main decision is probably going to be keep them until I hit Vanguard, because if I do hit Vanguard, or when I hit Vanguard, I think the... the uh, the stipulations change from what they are now to Nightmare to Vanguard. So I'm guaranteed to get Season 6 cards if I wait to use them until I hit Vanguard tier. You know, it's probably going to be a little while till I get to that point, guys. I know that. I understand that. However, I think the wait is going to be worth it. Because when I do hit it, I'm just going to be getting so many more useful cards, you know. And then moving into the other one, guys, which is the LP store. Um, pretty much the exact same reason as the tickets you know i do have the opportunity at a vanguard from these packs however seeing as there is you know there's more tiers included in this pack i think i'm just going to wait again until i at least get to primal tier before i consider buying these maybe wait until i get to vanguard as well because if i hit vanguard then i think the only tiers included especially in the top one is nightmare to vanguard again so you know, I think it is going to be more beneficial in the long run if I were to wait until I hit Vanguard tier and then spend them all there. You know, what I am very, very likely going to be doing, though, however, guys, is buying myself two of these Joe Kofi or Coffee cards to give myself a Primal Pro right off the bat. Because then that will help me really, really a lot in terms of ring domination. Because let's not forget, guys, you need to be in the top tier should you want to be able to get yourself the pro event cards. So if you want to get yourself pro event cards regularly, you need to get your, you know, your ring domination deck up to Vanguard. And if I go over to mine at the moment, I am currently just in Primal Plus. So going from an image that I have seen on Twitter, you need only three primal pros to get into vanguard for ring domination which is so much better compared to the start of season five where i can remember needing about seven or eight neon pros to get into shattered looking at these levels now guys it looks as though you only need three primal pros and i say only three primal pros and it makes it sound like it's easy to get it's not easy to get but 
it's a lot less than what we needed to get into Shattered Tier for the start of Season 5, you know? So hopefully PAX will help me uh, get up to that point. It's something that I definitely aim to do because I want to be able to play for all of the event cards available f throughout the entire season. Let me know, guys, your plans in the comment section down below. And I think that, you know, I don't think there is anything else other than the Performance Center. I completely forgot about this. We do have the brand new performance center ignore my john cena down the bottom that's the card that i was forced to throw in um to you know to get past the tutorial part it's something that i really don't like you know it was forcing you to play through the tutorial which i understand but what i really didn't like about it is that it was forcing you to use cards that you didn't necessarily want to use so i was forced to throw in this john cena um i refused to spend 870 credits on it because it's useless to me um, and then I had to throw in up the top guys to make it even worse The the card that I was forced to throw in at the top was a pro version of the Halloween Pete Dunn who only needed one power match <laughs> So I was forced to speed him up just to get one power match done Whereas if I was able to throw in let's say my Trish Stratus who only has 24 games played that would be so much better for me way more beneficial you know but i was forced to use a card that i didn't want to but now that we're past that i mean this i haven't really dived into it to see exactly how it works but i think it's okay you know you could use this to to train up your cards i mean there is a downside it does take four days to do it you know i i guess an argument could be made why would you throw it in here where if you could you know you could just use them in wild train them up play a hundred games and you could get the card done in probably maybe an hour hour and a half of constantly playing wild so why would you throw it into here and wait four days maybe if you've got a busy four days coming up understandably so but i don't think i'm going to be using this much to be honest guys going from what i know now who knows though guys in the future things could change but at this present moment in time guys from the information that i have at hand with me now i can't see myself using the performance center that much you know but you know anything can change anything is possible we'll just have to wait and see what happens in the coming weeks if not months guys you know i guess i could show off the money in the bank you know rewards currently guys i mean there's nothing i mean there is something a little bit special considering that all the cards are special cards you know it's nice seeing an eddie guerrero card given out on offer but i already have him pro so i'm not going to be spending my contracts on this if i needed him pro then my contracts would have already gone by the time you know before before even starting to make this video they would have already have gone but seeing as i've got this eddie guerrero pro in my collection didn't need to use my contracts guys um and in terms of the event cards available they're not exactly event cards they're just regular cards seeing as they are the first set of money in the bank rewards of the season they are a little lower than usual however when you know proper event type cards you know money in the bank style cards that we're used to seeing is eventually inevitably released i can see the contracts going back up to exactly what they have been which is around twenty four thousand for a single way too much in my personal opinion you know it's just so much grinding to get a single card it's so boring <laughs> money in the bank is so boring and it takes so long to grind the amount of contracts to get not only a pro but a single of those cards as well you know and it just puts me off playing but that's just my opinion in money in the bank i'll probably stay around what i'm at for the foreseeable future and keep them for maybe an over the limit that surprises us all over the next couple of weeks or months guys i have absolutely no idea what we're going to do so i guess you know the store hasn't really changed that much we've got the packs up the top which is pretty much exactly the same as always five and a half thousand credits for the best pack 5,000 credits for the best female pack. However, I will say, Cat Daddy, what have you done with the throwbacks in the Hall of Fames? <laughs> they're just gone. They are just, they've, 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 they've just been deleted from the store. So it'd be interesting to know exactly what's going down with the throwbacks in Hall of Fames. Maybe for whatever reason, they're keeping them and releasing them at a later date. Maybe they're going to be doing something different with the throwbacks and Hall of Fames, which is why they're not currently in the store. I guess we'll have to wait and see, guys. So let's jump in. I have actually prepared myself for this, guys. I have gone in and played some 
Royal Rumble games before making this video, saved up some picks, and I am ready to get my freebie, guys. So all I have to do is claim some picks from Money in the Bank, and we are ready to go, guys. As you can see, I've got 28 picks stored up. Watch this now, guys. The one time that I actually store up ready for this, it'll probably take me about two or three picks to get my freebie, you know? So let's jump in and get mine. Let me know who your nightmare freebie was. If you have indeed claimed it, that is, in the comment section down below. There isn't anybody necessarily that I want more than anyone in this tier. Someone like Triple H or Undertaker would be absolutely insane. Or a female. I think, if anything, those are what I would like to see. So let's get these picks rolling, guys, and let's see how long it takes to get our Nightmare freebie. As you can see, pulling Beast and Monster cards off of the board now without the board resetting is weird. <laughs> but that's exactly what we said at the start of Season 5, where we were constantly pulling Hardens and Elites without the board resetting. You know, give it time and we will get used to it. So let's see what we get. Come on, Monster after Monster after Monster as well as beast come on give me someone good come on monster freebie is Shinsuke Nakamura. All right, guys. I will definitely take that. My very first card in Season 6 turns out to be Shinsuke Nakamura of Nightmare Tier. That, guys, I will definitely take. So now I've got to go through another 20 or so picks to get past this. So WrestleMania 34 Tier does indeed uh, reset the board. And as you can see there, guys... Oh, I've got them back to back. So I really don't think green beans and I think it's cornbread, the monster one, which is cornbread. Uh, I don't think they're going to be very, very difficult to get. But in terms of the... Oh, we got a neon there. That's a, that's Is that good? I'm, I'm not sure. The, the, the tea is a little bit all over, the, all over the place for me right now. So as you can see, I'm pulling another green beans. So the beasts and the monster enhancements for the Goldiguka, I think are going to be very easy to get. But the ones that reset the board are going to be a little bit more difficult, guys. So there is my Nightmare freebie, Shinsuke Nakamura. I will definitely take it, guys. Absolutely, definitely take it. I was hoping to get my Primal freebie in the same video as my Nightmare one. But like I said, guys, seeing as the, you know, the free packs are a little bit different for me currently, I'm going to keep my points and wait till I've hit, the, uh, you know, a higher tier and then go from there guys so stay tuned to the channel i'll have a lot of packs coming hopefully as soon as possible i'll be loading up on credits as well you guys know me at the start of the season i do like to do a big big pack opening so expect that guys soon i don't know how long it's going to be exactly until uh, you know, I post that video, but I'll do what I can, guys, to get it out to you as soon as possible. So that right there is going to wrap up this video. If you did enjoy, hit that like button as well as subscribe for more brand new Season 6 content, guys, to come as soon as I can post it. But most importantly, guys, please take care, and I will see you all next time. Ta-da, guys.